They're on a mission to retain and foster employment opportunities by improving the business environment and encouraging sustainable business development. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Director of Economic Development for the City of Grand Rapids, Kara Wood. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And uh, congratulations are sort of in order for your organization for the role that they may have played uh, throughout the last several years, uh, helping to pull Grand Rapids out of what the entire state was dealing with, which was a recession, and uh, the city has come back quite nicely. Yes, the city has been a strong investor in business and in redevelopment of downtown Grand Rapids. And we're hoping that Grand Rapids as a city is helping the state recover as well. So what uh, are sort of the secrets, if you will? Why has Grand Rapids uh, in particular uh, perhaps come back better than some other cities its size from, from an overall, not just statewide, but really a, a, a nationwide uh, recession. We've spent a lot of time on public-private partnerships and being an investor in these projects with the private developments and the philanthropists has been key to our resurgence. I will also say that uh, focusing on sustainability and transforming our city operations has really also helped us sustain us through this recession. So is it sort of uh, down stuff happening in the downtown area and, and, and working its way out or has it been uh, businesses in, in the suburbs and the rural areas surrounding that have brought people in or you know is there some model that you could give advice to so say Detroit and Flint and, and other cities that are that are still struggling? Yes, I would say that we focused on downtown development, making it a great place for people to be, which led to businesses wanting to be downtown. And that has led to additional residential units being built in our downtown and the transformation of old buildings being revitalized into office and residential uses. So are you seeing population growth, folks from maybe out, even outside the state uh, choosing to make Grand Rapids home be because of this? We are, and our population growth has been slow, but many cities aren't growing at all, so we think that that's a good sign. We have a lot of employers in downtown that are attracting people from all over the world, and so we're very fortunate to have a downtown to welcome them into. And I know uh, transportation has been a, a big key, or at least uh, one of the building blocks um, that has led to some of the success. Uh, tell me about that, the role that some of the, the new transportation opportunities have played. It's just a start, but we have a bus rapid transit system now that is growing, and we think that that's a way to, to start to uh, transform people's mobility needs and not always requiring a car when you're trans, uh, transporting people around town. So obviously, uh, I know uh, the city of Detroit, is, it's, it's, I dwell on Detroit versus Grand Rapids. It's a bigger city, and, and it's sort of in the very beginnings of its comeback. Grand Rapids uh, was sort of never quite as bad off as Detroit, but uh, certainly has seen a huge boom. Um, transportation sounds like it's really a, quite a large part of, of the whole picture. It is, absolutely, and businesses need that because we can't continue to use the automobile forever. And we've learned some lessons from Detroit, and we've shared our learnings as well with Detroit. So we're trying to work together to identify solutions where we can actually connect the, the transportation uh, network within Michigan and then throughout the Midwest. For folks who are not familiar with Grand Rapids, who maybe haven't been over to the west side of the state in a long time, how do things look different today than, say, 10 years ago? Well, we have a lot of amenities like large cities have. And um, right now we're seeing a lot of infill construction occurring. And so large, dense buildings with uh, mixed uses, retail, lots of great restaurants and really vibrant downtown. And where do you see the city say in the next 10 years? Because obviously uh, things are plugging along and doing great, but uh, is there still room to grow more? Yes, we've got lots of vacant uh, parking lots that need construction on them. So we do see a lot of n need for infill construction over the next 10 years, and I think our, our region will continue to grow as a result. And tell me real quick about the river, because it, just like Detroit, uh, Grand Rapids is on a river, and I know that's played a role on, on really trying to make use of that as, as a, as a really defining characteristic. It's a tired and underutilized asset and we're going to restore the rapids to Grand Rapids making it an economic engine for our future and so we have learned from Detroit in that aspect and we're going to continue to invest in it as the years go by. All right, Wonderful, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on today's topic you can visit growgrandrapids.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Kara Wood, the Director of Economic Development for the City of Grand Rapids.